What's up everyone? Dumb boys back at it. Yeah, y'all like the new hardware? <laughs> got me a five pack. Uh, every Super Bowl ring the boys got. Got me a nice little replica. <clears throat> For all you Cowboys fans, thought that'd be cool to show you. It's pretty amped. I just got them. Like, just got them. Um, for all y'all who aren't Cowboys fans and y'all are still rocking with me, man, big shout outs to y'all for not being haters, man. It's easy to hate on us Cowboys fans. We catch it. it is what it is. But man, I appreciate that because I don't really want to ever have to rebrand what I'm doing, man. Dem Boys has been my gamer tag on Xbox like since, you know, in the day, guys. So, um, but what we're going to get into now, man, is going to be the Voltrax Nano Blitz. And this is going to be pro setups, pro tips. Uh, shout out, there was a lot of questions about, like, when I, well, if I base a line, then press, I miss a line, different things, you know, how's that going to drive? Uh, I told you at the time I would come out with some pro tips, and that was one of the first things that I wanted to really address more in depth than just the little conversation we have. Uh, so, this would be a perfect example of a situation where you do not need to base a line, right? Because essentially, your blitzer's just been pulled out wide for you right so my pro tip is now that you've been running this for a little bit you should be quick enough with the setup what we can do is we can go ahead and take that auto baseline off we can kill that so <clears throat> if you want to go ahead and press like you're going to see an example of split close if someone comes out and split close you don't have to base a line it's going to be set up for you you're going to have to pull the guy out um, but this one here i didn't have to do that you know this is just a pre-aligned you know if I get into something where they're a little more compressed, so everything's compressed, this would be like split close. You don't need to. You just need to go ahead and pull Lee out. So you'll do your normal setup. So again, guys, if uh, you didn't watch the video, check it out. But the setup's going to be pinch the line, pinch the linebackers, blitz all linebackers, contain, and grab this guy and slide him out just so he's no longer part of the contain. And then it doesn't matter if you use single high, him, whatever. Um, just to obviously show the blitz. Uh, they're going to have to max pro to pick it up. That's the only option. And even then, it's going to come through pretty quick, just maybe not unblocked. So, <clears throat> again, if someone comes out in a formation like this, you're good. You don't need to baseline anything. You can pinch your line, pinch your linebackers, blitz all, contain, and you actually get to skip the step of moving them out. Woohoo, good for you. Just got easy. Um, now, <clears throat> there are some formations, and I, I don't know where one is in this playbook, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to show you. Uh, where you do your setup, and what happens is both of these guys... <clears throat> so let's say one, let's say the guy over here gets pulled out wide, and you know, you've been told you always got to pull this guy wide. So then you pull him wide, and you're going, well, no, I got two guys wide. Is that going to work? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely does not matter. That will work. I'm usually a lot cleaner than that, and you'll see that in my in-game footage. That's probably why they gave Lawrence the shed animation, just because of how uh, dumb that was that it kind of got picked up. So again, there's a setup. Yeah, get your free runner through, like typical. Uh, so there's going to be some situations where <clears throat> you can get away with not base aligning. Now again, one of the reasons you may want to not base a line is if you want to go ahead and press. You want to actually get over the top of the receivers, because if you base a line and press, well, you know, not good if they're running a go. Now if you're in a cover four, yeah, maybe not a big deal. You know, you got your two safeties high at that point over the top of them. Maybe not as big of a deal. Uh, but in a cover two, cover three, uh, you know, I mean, keep in mind, everybody's blitzing. You've only got this one guy in coverage. Um, you know, this could get exploited pretty quickly. You just see off rip who's open right away, you know. Um, so it's really when you want to condense everything down, jam things up, get all your defenders clumped together, that's the best use for this. So, so any kind of a compressed set, uh, that's the best time to not base the line and if you are not using a cover four. This is information that can be taken into other sets and just things that, you know, can give you food for thought. I uh, hope this was helpful. Like, comment, subscribe. Enjoy the in-game footage. If y'all want me to put out a third video going more into details about shells, when and why, 
within this scheme, I'm going to need comments. Y'all let me know if you want me to continue with this. Otherwise, I feel like I've really given you enough to where you can run this more than competently. Uh, so again, like, comment, subscribe, enjoy the in-game footage. Let me know if you want more information on this. Um, otherwise, as it being something that supplements our primary defense, I think a few videos covers this. Peace. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked by the Hall of Famer, Mel Blunt. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit. And receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open? Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, tone, just defense. don't do it. Set the tone, defense. Let's go. So here's Vic following the end of the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does. And in the second quarter, he may very well run by him. But in this situation, oh, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. He's back to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Ryan Shazier got in that time. The first round pick of 2014. Now what? 